Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Van. Today I wanted to share a video with you guys about being a cat mom. I really enjoy my two cats. So my son is an only child. At the time, we thought getting him a pet would teach him responsibility. We wanted a pet that was going to be with him until he got older, ready to go to college and transition. These two cats that we adopted, we adopted them when they were only 14 weeks old. They were from the same litter. They were Siamese cats, eight beautiful cats. And they're, one's a boy, the other's a girl. Shelter named them, so we de we love the name and we never changed it, we love their name. So the boy is Possum and the girl is Precious. Beautiful cats. Now, I just wanna let you know the adoption process was a little bit tough for us because there was another family that was first in line to get these cats. And I don't know, I, I guess with all the praying that we did, we ended up getting the cats and I think the reason why we may have gotten the cats was because they were only 14 weeks and they haven't been neutered and spayed yet so that's a big responsibility for our pet owners is to get their cats neutered and spayed and I think maybe the family did not want to do that so they we ended up we were second line so we ended up taking the cats i said it's a big responsibility for being pet owners to neuter and spade your animal because we have one of each we really needed to get them neutered and spayed very important for their health we were not ready for another litter of kitties which is a scary thought so grateful for that and i had such a, a great experience adopting these two kitties and i highly recommend other people to before they look into getting pets, all these animals need to be adopted. And I think that's a great thing to do. Right now, they're like part of our family. The other thing about owning pets is getting them vaccinated. So my cats go for yearly physicals, just like us. I think we're better with the cat physicals than our own physicals. We go for their yearly physicals and they get their vaccinations. They, get the they got their first um, rabies shots, okay? And then recently they just got their second rabies shot. So I love this. This is like the cutest thing. So they got their rabies shots. Very important for animals. My pets are not outdoor cats. They're indoor cats. They also got the other vaccines for like the worms and like a respiratory vaccine. They're all up to date with their shots. Coming home, uh, we needed a carrier. So we had gotten two carriers for the cat. At the time, they were like kittens. So they fit in one carrier. Two of them fit into one carrier at the time, which was the cutest thing ever. But now when we bring them to the vet, we need two separate carriers. Let's hate the carrier. Once they see the carrier, they know they're going to the vet and they hate the vet because it only means shots, right? Or someone picking and prowling at them. So they know what the carrier means. You know, I got one of each. I got the plastic one and I got the cloth one, you know, to decide which one they would like. But they, cats like to get cozy up everywhere. So I have Siamese cats, so they like to be in tall, high places. My kitty loved the kitty condo. They like to play in it. They like to sleep on it, nap on it. It's almost like a scratch pad for them too. So that's the other thing is the cats love to scratch. If you are the type of family that worries about their furniture being scratched, maybe cats are not for you. Some certain things they can scratch and certain things, you know, it's a process, but we learn to live with that. If you can't do that, I don't recommend getting cats. Getting a scratch pad, they have a mat that they love to scratch on. They have the, the house that's one that's open that they can sleep in and they also there's another kitty hut which is more like a dome shape and they like to hide in that so the believe it or not both of my cats are from the same litter but they have two separate different personality so possum the boy cat loves to be more independent he's not scared he's very curious loves to explore he likes he likes the kitty hat house with the open top the girl one precious she's a little bit more shy very particular she likes the the dome shaped hut where she can hide in and she loves hiding in it uh, different cats so figure out which one your cat will like you it may be taking a trial and process food so getting a pet is very important you got to feed your pet believe it or not getting a pet is like having a baby so if you are one of those couples who are Practicing on getting kids, getting a pet will definitely help with the process. I wish I did this before I had my son and this would help my husband a lot. So we went the other direction, but it's okay. This is teaching my son some responsibility. We have food trays out for the cat. They share their food tray. There's, you know, brothers and sisters, so they do really good. I think if you have cats of the same gender, gender, like two male cats, you probably should get two separate 
food tray because they will get territorial. I fill it with water. My cats majority loves the dry food. I like to give them wet food now and then just so that for their kidneys sake. If you're a cat owner, you know that cats usually suffer from kidney disease, kidney problems, urinary retention, all that issue. So it's smart to give your cats wet food. You can't rely on them to drink as much water as you, as you want them to. So giving them the wet food will help a lot. Keep them hydrated, keep their kidneys well. So I highly recommend doing that. Let me show you some of the food. So um, this is the one I like, well, my cat like. So they're really picky. My cats are a little bit spoiled. They won't eat anything except this. This is the fancy fees wet food. Um, they like this one this is the chicken pate they are very picky about their wet food they would not eat like slice or chunky wet food they like the pate style that's what they like the other thing is treats you gotta be careful with the treats because they can gain weight with the treats we like to give them is well they like it it's the temptation the backyard one this is their favorite they eat they eat all of the temptations but of all of them this is their favorite but they love all of it any any temptations, they'll do. I like to mix it in with the friskies. They'll do the friskies too, so I mix this in with the temptation. Beef health is also important. I like to do the greenies. We're not so great about brushing their teeth. They won't let me. They won't even let me clip their nails. They get their nails clipped at the vet. So that's how difficult my cats are. So I resorted to the greenies. I'll mix this a little bit with their their treats, their food, and that will help them with their teeth health. I'm very fortunate that I got my cats when they were 14 weeks, so they were very easy to train on using litter. So we only had one trial with litter, and it worked out great. So we use the um, Tidy Cats litter. This is the one with the pellets and the pad. We tried that for a couple months. Great system, but the litter, the pellets got very costly. Like. If you, if you tried it, you would know. And the thing is too, I found another alternative that was better, so much better. I like to use these pine litter. Fraction of the price of the pellet litter that I was getting from the Tidy Cats. And it was better because it was pine scented. So the smell, the odor was much better controlled. And when the cat urinated, it became like a sawdust and you could just like shuffle it into the Tidy Cat which was great. And then the pad collected everything. And then that I wrapped up and tossed out. So the thing about the pad was also Tidy Cat. Like I found another alternative for the pad. So I found these Amazon um, pads that were like a dupe for the Tidy Cat pads. So those were life-changing and much more cost effective and not an issue with my cat. They were very good, very well-trained. These cats are great. If you have two cats like me, I do recommend getting two litter, especially if you have you have the same gender, like for example, the male. If you have two male cats, you definitely need to get two separate litter because they're very territorial. But I'm very lucky. I have one boy, one girl, so they're very good at sharing everything and you will see that in later videos, how great they are with each other. They love each other and you know, it's a great companion. I was very lucky to have two cats. If I had to do it again, not thought about, because I when I went to the shelter, I only thought about one cat, but I ended up with two cats because they were in the same litter and they recommended us adopting two of them together rather than separating them. And I didn't have the heart to separate them either. crazy about keeping my house clean, odor free. When you walk into my house, you would not even know that I have two cats. That's how clean and odor free my house is. Besides using the litter, I also use this Arm & Hammer um, spray for the litter. I highly recommend this. Every time I change the litter, this is what I spray it down and perfect, no issue. That's just part of caring for your cats. Um, the other thing is, like I said, they are a blessing in our lives and my son loves them.
So we are very blessed with them during this time during the pandemic. They're over a year old now. Perfect timing to get them. They are very playful. My son wanted a dog as well, but the cats are a lot more low maintenance and you will see that. They're pretty self-sufficient and my son has been able to train these cats to do some tricks. The thing about it is that cats will only want to play when they really want to play. Boy cat possum able to play when my son wants to play with him, do tricks with him when he wants versus the girl Precious who is more like a cat who's like, I don't want to play with you. I'm going to sit out and hang out and be lazy. So she's like that. So it's great that we have both of them because you can see two different personalities. If you guys like this video, let us know and we will share more of our kitties with you. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon.